Hey, aloha and welcome to Beach Walks with Rocks. Today is show number 627 and you can find us at beachwalks.tv. story to tell that I'll get to in a second um, about Shane making bread today but it occurred to me that the story within the story is how curious and interesting it is that metaphor is so helpful to us because you know it's really difficult living life up close and personal we get very attached to the story and we get very attached to the details of the situation and it's hard to step back and sort of look at the structure of the situation or just look at the mechanics of what's going on because and I think that's what metaphor helps us do when we compare it to something else we can say oh that's the pattern oh I see that's the um, chain of cause and effect that's taking place here and then it becomes easier to really examine what it is we want to do how we want to do it or not do it as the case may be so anyway Shane I pulled out this recipe from a magazine of this really wonderful French country hard crusted airy bread that doesn't require kneading and multiple risings and I gave it to him to see if he'd like to make it I mean I really never expected it and he, he said sure I'll make that and the dough is very And so when he went to, hey, are you going to bring it over here to me? Bring it over to me, please. And kind of wet. When he went to start getting it ready to go in the oven, he got frustrated with it because it was just a wet blob. <laughs> and so I stepped in and just basically kneaded it a little bit. And those of you that have never made bread, this may not make any sense to you, but nonetheless, I shall carry on. And I just pushed it back together and got it so that it wasn't so sticky and add a little more flour to it and shaped it into a mound. Over here, Lex. Over here, sweetie. Good job. And put it in the oven and we made a loaf of bread. In life, they look so messy. And but it was just interesting to me because sometimes things, really all that's necessary is to step in, take charge, and pull it back together. It's hard to know that if you don't have any experience with it and if you don't really know how messy you have to get in the meantime in order to get it all tightened back up into a ball or not. But um, I just thought it was a nice reminder for me that two things. One, basically being able to share information. That's really helpful. And the internet, of course, is so great at that. And then the second thing is being able and willing to just step in when things are messy and they will get unmessy pretty quickly. Whereas if you just leave it messy, um, you know, the mess persists longer. So thanks so much for joining us here on Beach Walks today. We have a frisbee dog and all kinds of fun stuff going on. So aloha everybody, malama pono. I gotta pay attention to you, don't I?